Okay, a lot of students panic when they see a word problem. The key is read the problem through in its entirety one time and then go back and read it again, but try to break it down and start by focusing on what it is you're trying to solve for. We're trying to solve for how many adult and student tickets did they sell at the game. So we could use X and Y, A and S, I'll use X and Y. X is the number of adult tickets. Y is the number of student tickets. And now since we have two unknowns, we're looking for two equations. So here's one equation that's kind of obvious. They sold a total of 63 tickets. That means that whatever these two numbers are, X and Y, they have to add up to 63. There could have been 60 adults and three children. Or 40 and 20. Uh, oh, 63, sorry, not 60. And then the second piece of information deals with money, okay? Each adult ticket costs $4. That means for every adult, you're bringing in $4. So if there's two adults, you bring in $8. If there's three adults, you bring in $12. So... If X is the number of adults, four times X is the number of dollars. And similarly, for student tickets, which cost $2.50, uh, if Y is the number of student tickets, then each ticket, student ticket, brings in $2.50. And I'll just write that as 2.5. And that brings in how many dollars? Well, what does it say? $201. Okay. Now, at this point, you have what's called a system of two equations and two unknowns. You can use the addition elimination method. You can use the substitution method. When it's easy to solve for one variable, I like to use the substitution method. So here, I'm going to solve for y. y equals 63 minus x. Subtract x from both sides. Now I'm going to take this expression, which is equivalent to y, and substitute it into the other equation. So my new equation is 4x plus 2.5 times 63 minus x. That's what y is. That has to equal 201. Now, how you want to solve for x at this point, you might want to clear the equation of decimals by multiplying every term by 10, which is what I would, I would probably do since I don't like to work with decimals. So I'd get something like 40x plus 25 times the quantity 63 minus x equals 2010. I multiplied every term by 10 just to get rid of that decimal. I'll let you take it from there. Distribute this 25, combine similar terms, and uh, solve for x. And that'll be the number of adult tickets. Then when you get x, substitute that number in here, and you'll get y. Okay, there you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment. Thank you.